funny because just the other day uh, in a video, we were reminding everybody that not everything is for everybody. We always talk about, hey, if there's something that you don't like, if it's something that you don't agree with, if it's something that's just not your vibe, okay, that's cool. Leave it be. Let it go. And that's that. And with Bernard Pollard, uh, former Baltimore Ravens, Super Bowl champion with the Baltimore Ravens too. Uh, he was part of that Super Bowl team with Ray Lewis, and Ed Reed, Terrell Suggs, Lodi Nada, Kerry Williams, Jimmy Smith, Ladarius Webb, Joe Flacco, Ray Rice, uh, Bernard Pierce, uh, Vontae Leach, Dennis Pitta, Ed Dixon. Uh, we could go down a long list, but anyway, he was part of that Super Bowl team back in 2012. Um, but he has not, is not, and definitely after tonight, we'll never be uh, a fan of Lamar Jackson. And like like we said, not everything is for everybody. And Lamar Jackson, the way he plays football is obviously not for Bernard Pollard. He has been talking about for years how he feels like it's not sustainable. He's been talking about for years how Lamar Jackson will never win the Super Bowl. He's been talking about for years that the Ravens will not have true success uh, with Lamar Jackson as their quarterback. This is not a new thing. This is not something that just popped up out of nowhere. He's been saying this for a very long time. And like I always say, I do respect other people's opinion, even if I feel differently than they do, as long as they express their opinions respectfully. I, I respect it. Okay, it's cool. Even if I don't agree with it. Um, and with a lot of his opinions on Lamar Jackson, I, I do not agree with. I feel like and, uh, well, we can get into all that later. But anyway, tonight... I guess Lamar Jackson, um, he said, I got time tonight. He, he said he got time tonight. And, like, it, it's, it's something when when you poke somebody for so long, you just poke them, poke them, poke them, uh, you can't be upset when they if and when they finally react. Now, with Lamar Jackson, I was surprised. I was very surprised that he actually responded and reacted to everything that Bernard Pollard was saying, and them two were going back and forth. And they may still be going back and forth right now. But where this all recently started, it started from Ryan Clark's tweet from yesterday. Ryan Clark said, people might, people might say I'm caping for Lamar Jackson, but to me it's common sense. Any other QB with his impact, his success, his overall statistics will be worshipped. Yet, we are discussing why he isn't in the top 10 QBs. The three other former MVPs are in the top four. Guess I'm dumb, though. So what Ryan Clark was talking about, and Ryan Clark has been an excellent commentator, analyst since he's retired and, and stepped into uh, the, the whole ESPN and all that. He's been doing a phenomenal job. Um, but what he's talking about is, of course, the, uh, the top 10 QB list that ESPN put out a few days ago. We covered that, too. Um, and how Lamar Jackson was not on there. And I thought that was kind of weird, too. But then at the same time, you know how NFL is with Lamar Jackson. Anyway. But he was saying that Lamar Jackson should definitely be there. But Bernard Pollard, resp Bernard Pollard responded. I can't even talk. He said, um, it's a lot that can be said. He's definitely a top 10 talent. But as far as a uh, top 10 quarterback, I don't see it. I believe he should get paid by the Ravens and should get top dollar. Now with that, I was, um, I was really confused by that. Because he said that he's definitely a top 10 talent. So if somebody's a top 10 talent, then that means when you look at all the players in the NFL, they are in the top 10 of all the players in the NFL, not just quarterbacks, not just this, that they're in the top 10 of everybody. When you throw in everybody in the NFL, they will be in the top 10. But if somebody's in the top 10 of overall talent, then why wouldn't they be in the top 10 of a specific category? Because that would eliminate so much other talent uh, from that because you, you, you're labeling it in a specific category. So that would eliminate so much other talent that would be in other categories. That would take away all the running backs, receivers, tight ends, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, all that stuff. So I, I just I didn't get that. But anyway, um, Lamar, <laughs> he was tired. But anyway, somebody said, uh, oh. Clark Kyam, he said, one thing here, if you play the game professionally, you're an athlete. That notion always gets me. When the Ravens decide to give him some good wide receivers, instead of one tight end, his game would change because now his options change and he can still run. Thank you, uh, Kyam. That's something that we've been saying on here. too. But anyway, this is not my wide receiver conversation right now. Bernard Pollard said, no top wide receiver will ever come there while LJ is there. Plenty of wide receivers have been available to get in the offseason while LJ has been starting, but nobody wants to go. They give him the respect, but they don't want to play with him. LJ is good, but he's not able to make the throws. 
So Lamar Jackson responded and said, you sound dumb. He said, you sound dumb. Um, and, and Bernard said, uh, yeah, we, he said, we'll see. We'll wait and see if one signs. But it just, it started getting really ugly. Um, from, from that point on, it started getting uh, downright nasty. And, and Lamar just started assaulting him over and over and over and over and over. Um, he said, as far as Crush Boy, um, he said, no Hall of Fame conversation or nothing. But you know something now? And that was Lamar talking to Bernard Pollard. So he tell him, hey, you're not even a Hall of Famer, but you know something now? And Bernard Pollard responded. He said, I don't want the Hall of Fame and don't care about it. I made people fear me. So that was that. Um, and then they also followed it up. Uh, Lamar Jackson said, you've been capping since I've been playing for the Ravens. I never heard of you, to be honest, my boy. You got your Super Bowl because of Ray Lewis and Ed Reed that year. Oof. Yikes. So now Lamar, like, Lamar made it personal. Even though not Bernard Pollard first, initially, he made it personal. But then Lamar took it. He said, I'm going to make it personal right back. Uh, but anyway, and Bernard Pollard said, facts are facts. Make sure you call me champ. And good luck getting one. Uh, and Lamar said, never. Nobody speak of you. I had to Google you, little bro. I never heard of you until I seen you keep dissing like you was a Hall of Famer, but you far from it across the ocean like overseas. Like, man, Lamar, like, where's all this coming from? I, I, wonder, if, I wonder if Lamar is hangry right now. Because, again, y'all know Lamar don't usually do stuff like this. But this offseason, hey, Lamar been like, hey, y'all want to keep trying me? All right, I, I got something for it, man. Um, but then my guy, uh, Ravens fanboy 420, he said, and Flacco too, to include Flacco in the list of people who helped win that Super Bowl. And Lamar said for sure, Flacco too. But the commentators never said Pollard with that key play. Sorry, boy. Oof. He, he just getting on him, man. And now, well, Lamar was responding to Bernard Pollard saying that he didn't want the Hall of Fame and didn't care about it. Lamar said, stop flagging, boy. That, they'd never say you was fear, LOL, bruh. Go watch NASCAR. Probably better at that for real. Sorry, boy. And you know, Lamar, I mean, Bernard Pollard been heavy in the NASCAR recently and whatnot. So Lamar Jackson was getting on. I'm like, woo, Lamar, where, where is this coming from? Anyway, um, then he also said it's wild. I never heard a dude until I'm constantly seeing him cap like he knows something. Uh, with your strong shark head behind, you don't know nothing. So then, when, you know, when, when, when people start, especially from down here, South Florida, man, when they, when, when they, when they really fed up with you, they're going to start getting on you. Start talking about how you look and all that. And sometimes it get a little personal, sometimes it won't, but that's just how it is. But anyway, um, Bernard Pollard, he then tweeted, he said, I get to sit back and watch some of the stuff I used to do. Uh, and Lamar Jackson responded to that because it was a highlight of Bernard Pollard uh, just laying somebody out. Uh, in college And Lamar Jackson said Bro got a six second college highlight You mad for real I wish I played against you I would have threw the ball to coach And ran straight at your side behind Bernard And he, he called him Bernard I said oh, hold up now I said wait a minute Hey, hey that's that South Florida Because you remember Hollywood now Remember when Hollywood got into a bar Scott And he called him Bartholomew Hey <laughs> that's, that's, that's South Florida Then Lamar kept going And he said Take vet out of your bio you just played as an extra body, to be honest. Super Bowl with two tackles. Was those game-changing tackles? I'm waiting. Man. Lamar, like, don't, don't, don't get on Lamar Jackson's bad side, man. Don't nobody need to get on his bad side. Cause when he go off, I see he goes off. Um, Bernard Pollard said, turn on the film. I'll teach you how to read a defense. And Lamar said, the last person I would go to for anything football-related, little bro, Talk to me about the best NASCAR is out. I'm all ears and eyes. So, again, he went back to Bernard Pollard's love for NASCARs right now. And then um, Bernard Pollard said, good one. If you get to the Super Bowl, we will see what you do. Ask your coach about the extra body I was helping all game and playing with six broken ribs. I played through my injuries. Man up and throw from the pocket. See, that, that's where, that's where, uh, anyway, let's, let's keep going. Lamar Jackson said, I pray we make it there for real, for real. Bruh, but I definitely don't want to hear nothing about your ribs being broke. Ray tore his tricep. They never mention you. Oof. Bruh, you got it. Matter of fact, I got to focus and worry about the current ops, not former. Oof. Sheesh. This is disgusting. 
And then Lamar tried to sort of divert away from the conversation because then he was like, I love NFL. We're going to turn up this year. I appreciate the Ravens for coming back in the first round and picking me up. We're going to eat. So he tried to sort of change it and try to spin it to a positive. And like, okay, here we good, we good, we good. But then, shout out to Rita. Oh, actually, not even just Rita because there's some other people that posted it too. Um, because they were getting on Bernard Pollard for all the booty shaking that, that he was doing on Hard Knocks. I remember when he was back with the Chiefs and he was doing all the twerking and all that in the locker room. And Lamar said, bro, I respect my OGs who currently and also played back in the day, but you, not ever. I don't know what you think this is, little bro, and your side job was stripping. Twitter need to take that blue check, my goodness. There he goes. And he also said, I, I thought only cheerleaders did the splits, not players too. And that's where Rita jumped in. NFL chick. The NFL chick. Shout out to Rita, by the way. Uh, we got to have her back on soon. But anyway, uh, she sent him the video uh, of Bernard Pollard twerking and twisting and booty shaking and doing all that stuff. And Lamar said, no, bro. I hate I even said anything to you, little bro. If you was my son, I would have pooty tanged you for playing with me like this. It wasn't done yet. I told you, he just kept going. Uh, then somebody said, uh, Bernard Pollard, I really want to see you try and tackle Lamar Jackson in the open field. No doubt, you were a hard hitter, but come on, man. And then Lamar responded to that. He said, on his life, they would have cut him after the play. Oh, boy. And then somebody else, they put a video of the Super Bowl where Colin Kaepernick threw to, I think that was, uh, yep, Michael Crabtree, and Michael Crabtree broke off of Bernard Pollard and somebody else. Oh, it was Big Trust Air who put that video in. He quoted, they feared me. And Lamar Jackson said, bro, we almost lost because of this dude. I watched this when I was a kid and was going for the Ravens. That play, I wanted to slap uh, the mess out of 31. And it's you, boy, unk, come out of retirement, please. So Lamar basically saying, hey, Come out of retirement so I could show you. But, yeah, man, Lamar done, he clearly done had enough. He has clearly had enough of Bernard Pollard. And, again, I, 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 don't, I, don't, know what, what, I don't know what it is with Bernard Pollard, man. Because, um, again, I know, like, not everybody is going to like Lamar Jackson. And I don't ever expect everybody to like Lamar Jackson. Then that's whether it's fair or unfair criticism. Either one, I get it. But it's, I don't know what it is because sometimes it seems like he, he goes a little extra when it comes to Lamar Jackson. Maybe it's because he used to play for the Ravens. So maybe he kind of like got a, a soft spot for the Ravens. And it's like, all right, I, I, I give a little extra critique here. To this team because I used to play for that team. I won a Super Bowl with that team. I used to be one of them dudes on that team. Maybe that's it. But I, 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 it's just uh, it, it just confused me a bit. Um, but it is what it is. And Lamar Jackson said, uh, actually, Lamar Jackson said that's not what it is. And he said it ain't gonna be that tonight. So anyway, um, lesson of the night: don't make Lamar Jackson upset because. He going to get on you and uh, put you out in front of everybody.